Nick speaking and welcome to this video. Uh, right, day 22 of the War Boss Tape Painting Challenge, end of week three. Um, and I'm really, really pleased to be able to say that I have achieved everything that I wanted to achieve in week three um, and a little bit more in actual fact. Um, but I'm going to talk about that um, at the end of the video. We'll have a look at week four's uh, project for this particular army. Um, okay, but let's have a quick chat about what I did uh, today. So over on this board, I basically finished the freehand. Uh, so I went in with uh, two coats of that uh, Troll Slayer Orange on uh, all of the freehand. Um, and then once I'd done that, I went over it all with the uh, Fugan Orange Wash. Just brought it in line with all of the other um, orange pieces on my army. So I'm really, really happy how it's looking. Um, yeah, hopefully you like it too. So that's on the Hellions as well. Like so. And of course those last bits and pieces there. Um, so this is how the army is looking on the whole. Let's just uh, give you a quick sort of overview as such. So we've got the witches just on there. Those bits and pieces are for the raiders, etc. That's got to be uh, glued on to the, the newest styled raider. And over here we've got the other two HQs, uh, the 30 warriors, plus the warriors that are designed to uh, uh, magnetise or be glued onto the, the raiders um, at a later stage. And then on this uh, board we've got the grotesques and the scourges. That's how they are looking. So overall the army is looking uh, quite nice, I think. I'm pretty happy with how it's looking. Um, obviously I've still got another week to go, so uh, hopefully I can uh, improve the look of the army a little bit more. But um, yeah, really, really happy. Okay, so let's have a look at today's question, day 22. There's another uh, closet of purgatory, um, although slightly different now. It does also introduce just like a standard to-do projects rather than stuff you've bought that you regret. Um, so, um, I've got still got quite a few projects to do, as you, as you know, but um, the one that I've really got earmarked is to do those warp spiders, the ones that I started on the next New Year painting challenge, and then had that disaster with the, the primer. So I've got to strip them down, and then I, I really want to paint them. Um, so that will be um, coming up at some point on my channel. Okay, so I'm going to uh, move these models out of the way. Uh, we'll go tabletop down and uh, we'll look at uh, the next part of this challenge. Okay, so back to the Oath of Moments. Uh, so week three, um, by the end of day 22, I wanted to uh, finish the bone cutter um, and start the free hand. Now I did jiggle around with this challenge uh, when I went from week two to week three, just to make it easier for me. Um, I moved the details down into week four. Um, and then the idea was I wanted to start the free hand in week three and finish the three free hand in week four. Now as it is, I managed to totally finish the free hand, so I'm really, really happy with that. Should make my week four a little bit more, uh, not necessarily easier, but give me more time to work on this section, which is the details. Um, so yeah, my first task in uh, this week, uh, week four, will be to uh, base all of these models um, and uh, Obviously get them all painted up, I'll do the rims of the bases, get them totally finished effectively. Um, and then, whatever days I've got left, I want to go in and do some extra details. Now I'm not exactly sure exactly what that is going to be at this stage. It may be things like highlighting the bone, uh, maybe an extra layer of skin colour, maybe highlighting the orange, maybe introducing more colours to the army, uh, possibly doing the rat ogre skin in the dark Eldar skin colour. Um, depends what time I get, how I'm feeling, and what I think will bring the most to the army. Um, we'll have to see. Um, I'm going to first of all base them all up, see how they're going to look with all their bases on, and then I'm going to move from there. So let's do my Oath of Moment. On this paintbrush I make my Oath of Moment. By the end of day 29 I will have done all the bases and uh, added some extra details to the models. Okay, so I am really looking forward to week four. Should be a fun week. Um, and even if I just do the bases, effectively the army is finished. So I know I'm definitely going to finish this army, which is really, really nice feeling. So now it's just really uh, a case of making it as good as I can make it within the time that I've got left. 
So, uh, keep on watching, more videos to come, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.